think I might be having one myself, actually. <laughs> Now, some people will see that gun and uh, they'll get very excited. This is the new Maxus 2 with Real Tree Camo 5. I've had it a while actually, um, and I've shot quite a lot of uh, ducks and geese with it. And I'm going to take you through some of the cool features about this gun because it is very different to the first Maxus and it isn't at the same time as well so as I put this together because we've had a couple of people well I have said to me how do you put this together it's really simple and I'm going to show you some of the changes that we go through first of all those that have got a Maxus or know about it will recognize that it's got a screw cap on it whereas the original one used to have like you have on and over and under and there's a reason for this the reason being, probably won't affect our uh, UK market, why they did it is so that you can screw an extender tube on it so you can have however millions of rounds of ammo you need for it. It's three shot over here, maybe you want a magazine tube extender, but that's why they've gone back to the original cap, which to be honest with you, I prefer anyway. This particular one is the 30 inch, um, does, they do do it in 28. I'll just put this on it, and you've got to line that up with the back. There you go. It's as simple as that. Four end on, wind you up. Now, you've seen before on some of the videos, I've done autos. You've got to make sure this is tight. Give it a Herculean effort if you need to. There you go. That's plenty. Now, as I said, this is the 30 inch barrel, which is the one I asked for and there is a reason behind that because I use this particular gun on very long um, shots we've got a lot of geese on one of our farms and yeah they kind of know what I'm about so I use a longer barrel it gives me a better glide much more swing with control because they are a long way out three and a half inch chamber so this will take mammoth rounds um, I've been shooting Expresses um, steel, high performance steel through it, and Bacheri Pellegris. It works faultlessly. You can go down to clay rounds with this as well. What I really like about the Maxis is it's just easy. It's so easy to operate. You've got the soft touch on the fore end, which some people might get soft on a gun. Uh, trust me, it really works. It does help, especially when you're in inclement weather, it's raining or it's just damp. The grip that you get on that, whether you've got gloves on or you're just using your skin, it, 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 it grips like Gorilla Glue actually. You've got a soft touch um, cheek piece here, and I'm not a great lover of the synthetic side of things, but it does, even in cold weather, give you a good registration back feed of how, where your gun is and how you're shooting, etc. Soft grip, pistol grip, it just grips. You've heard me say this many times about uh, semi-automatic reviews about the safety. It is my only gripe with this particular gun is they put it at the back and, and it protrudes out. And for me, I can feel that under my trigger finger. I prefer the safety to be there. But on the positive side of it, it's big enough that you can operate it really easy. You know, it's nice and smooth. It's not clunky clanky or wishy-washy it's precise but just in the wrong place for me the action and the body is the same as the maxis before now you can alter the length of pull both by extending it just by dropping them shims in you don't really need to go to diy school to know how to do that it's dead easy just unscrew it screw them on screw the pedal but this is a cool feature the flat part there it's like that, so if you wanted to shorten the length of pull because you're uh, even shorter than me, you can cut it square 
and that recoil pad will go straight on so there's no like I've got to send it to a gunsmith and have it all touched up so the recoil pad fits in it just does cut it off to the length that you want that's it got sling points which I was never a great fan of until I got to a, onto a certain estate that I'm on we have to walk and walk and walk great put a sling on it it's brilliant this is the one that you can speed load as well and I'll have to show you that in another segment in a minute when we go on to have a shot with it it's also got a magazine lock on it I'm gonna again in another segment I'm gonna show you how that works and if you listen to it it's just so precise that action solid you hear that bang that steel on steel that gives me confidence that this is locked up tight when you're shooting it it shoots like a dream to be honest and it just looks and I'm not really into this sort of camo I'm a baby Rambo look but I gotta be honest I really like it actually it's just like I don't know maybe I'm changing but it's really good for our American friends it's got this on so you can put a dot sight on it maybe not just the Americans maybe some of the English I haven't been to the shooting show and seen what's on the available but anyway you can do that as well don't know why it's got a gold trigger but it has and the trigger pull on it is the same all the time you get some of these autos and they're a bit it is just a maxis gas operated my preferred method of operating a semi-auto as to inertia we're all different you might like it it's multi-choke it does come with a range of chokes and you can tell this has been built for the americans because we've got all in like imperials and we've got mods and stuff like that. then we've got this <laughs> this takes it from 30 inch to i can knock out the moon with it i don't know turkeys i don't know i've tried using it it makes it horrible makes it too front end heavy well a cool feature i do like it especially if you're shooting late at night if you're on docks or early morning as well fiber optic red sight and people are going to go oh you don't see the bead yeah you do gives you a nice reference that does for me anyway i like a bead on a gun i've used them for years and they work great and the manufacturers use them all the time so there's a reason why they're there so it is what it is it's a really great gun for going around the field even better on pools waterways rivers stuff like that but i'm going to show you how it shoots i'm going to put some three inches through it as well steel which is proof for high performance steel as well the big stuff and uh it really speaks for itself doesn't it really it's just uh get the camo out and uh we'll see you down here <laughs> so you'll see in the previous part of the video i said there's some features on it that i'm going to show you so i'm going to show you now um one of them is a speed loader so i'm just gonna put my hand out to my wonderful assistant now a speed loader just two instead of having to use the button which sends the bolt forward on a speed loader semi-auto push in the bottom watch how cool is that and then goes the other cartridge now people are going to say well, when are you going to use that well i can tell you now if you're out hunting a lot that button even though it's a lovely sized button that it's not too obtrusive and it's not too small and hurt your fingers and i can tell you i've shot enough geese that when they start coming in you need something to load that quick you're not going to find anything better than a speed loader so that's the speed loader and then you just pull the bolt back like that to unload it so speaking about the bolt which is is it oversized slightly but it's nice it's got a lovely roundness to it with a with a gentle taper sweep so you can get your fingers on it and pull it back that's the other cool feature second feature is when you've loaded it when you load it speed load it or conventionally like that i'll put three in and you'll see why and you're walking around the field you i've mentioned about the sling or whatever and you've got to climb over a fence this is just a hypothetical Usually you have to do unload all of the shells. Pull this lever here, a magazine lock, all the way down, and then 
out comes your cartridge you can catch it if you want to bolts back safe nothing in it and we've still got the cartridges in there we haven't got to fully unload the gun how cool is that there you're gonna go well how'd you load it now don't do what a lot of people do and put a cartridge in there turn it back over look watch bolts gone forward and the cartridge is in back to three shot or two shot unload it you really haven't got to have much of an IQ to operate this so there you go speed loader magazine lock Max's two in real tree camo force now we're going to go and have a shot with it okay going to put some cartridges through this now it's not about my shooting ability or grinding clays up it's more about what this will feed it's not actually designed to shoot these 21 gram cartridges through a gun that's chambered at three and a half inch so well watch this space see if it cycles 21 gram well Yeah, it does. You notice how I pulled the gun out of the shoulder then? Because I actually thought it hadn't loaded it. So that's 21 gram anyway. I'll just uh, try a couple more of them. Now I know that it actually is cycling the action. It really did put me off because it had the recoil of an air rifle. Paul. There you go. 21 gram shells through a Maxus 2. Okay, 24 of these are going to go, aren't they? Express XLs, which has got an Olympic gold medal. Oh, just note, we've had a few comments about why I do that with a bolt. When I was a kid, I used to shoot a Remy 1100. They were notorious for breaking ejector claws. So I used to do that, pull the bolt back to see if the shell was gripped. And I've just got that habit forever. So stop having a go at me on YouTube about it. Well, twenty-four gram, absolutely lovely through that. What else we got? Power gold, twenty-eight gram, and then uh, twenty-eight gram super cop. Well, and I tried something different with that coming up through it. Right, now, did I've got some Supreme here? Oh, some Zenith. Paul! That's game load, 32 gram. Still on the clay rounds at the moment. Uh, Bashiru Plagri next, probably the best cut. Best cut in the world. Paul! What else we got two from Fiocchi and then we're going to move on to game this is their HV ball ball oh that was nice right I won't I'll finish off on the clay rounds with Express Supreme ball And I'm pretty sure when you see the footage of all the cartridges I went through there, why the Supreme is called Supreme. Because it's just brilliant. Right, game rounds. Three inch. 36 gram ones from Express. And I put three in for a reason. We'll see why. Well... There you go, they work don't they? So there you go, Brownie Maxis 2, not designed for cycling 21 gram shells, breeze through that, 24, 28, in different qualities from intermediate, beginner, all the way up to professional ammunition, 
all the way up to mass three inch 36 gram ones there you go does everything play shooting goose shooting and it just looks great see you later